Okay, so today we're going to look at multiplying terms of brackets. But first of all, we're going to correct the homework. So let's start off first with question three. So we can see here we have two multiplied by four and x by x. And we know that two by four gives me eight and x by x, remember, add the powers. So remember, there's an imaginary one there and an imaginary one there. So I get x squared. Next one, I have 5 by 2 and y by y. And that gives me 10y squared. And then finally, I have, now this one's a little bit trickier. So I have 10 by 3. And then I have y by y squared. So re just remember that there's a 1 there in that y. We just never write it in, okay? So then I get 30 and I get y and add the powers. So 1 plus 2 gives me 3. In the first part of question 4, we actually had no numbers. That's okay. So all we are going to do is go x by x by y. So we know from before that x by x gives me x squared. And y just simply goes beside it. We can't do anything with it. You cannot multiply it in or anything like that. Okay. The next one then I have 10 by 5. I have x by x. And I have y. And that's going to give me 50. x by x is x squared. And y is just y. So you just put it alongside it. And the last question then. We have 7 by 7, we have x by x, we also have y by y. So 7 by 7 gives me 49, x by x gives me x squared, and y by y gives me y squared. Let me know if there's any issues with these guys, so just send me a little message on Schoology if you were stuck. Okay, so let's move on to multiplying uh, brackets in algebra. So here we have 2 multiplied by x plus 3. So how do we go about doing that? Well, first of all, we multiply every 2 by everything in the brackets. So 2 by x plus 2 by 3. So we can split it up like that. So 2 by x gives me 2x. And 2 by 3 gives me 6. And that's my final answer. So all we just need to make sure to do. And you can also use the loop method here too. 2 by x. And 2 by 3. Let's take another example. So here we have 3 multiplied by 4a minus 3. So let's start. You can split it up. Or you can use the loop method. I'm going to just split it up for now. 3 by 4a. Minus 3 by 3. Okay, so I have 3 by 4a gives me 12a, and minus 3 by 3 gives me minus 9. And that's my answer. Okay, so let's look at something a little bit more dis difficult. This time you'll see that this one has three terms in the bracket. Okay, but we do the exact same thing. All we are going to do is multiply 2 by each term in that bracket. So let's start 2 by x plus 2 by y minus 2 by 1. So again, if I just use the loops, all I did there was 2 by x, 2 by plus y, and 2 by minus 1. Just let's tidy that up. So I got 2x plus 2y minus 2. Okay, so pause the video here. I want you to try these two questions for yourself. And when you've done, when you're done, you can just play the video and you'll see the answers. Okay, so let's go through them. So I'm just going to use the loop method here. So we have two, minus 2 by 4y and minus 2 by minus 1. So minus 2 by 4y. And then we have minus 2 
by minus 1. Okay, so minus 2 by 4y gives me minus 8y. Minus 2 by minus 1, remember our rule, minus by minus gives me plus 2. And that's my answer. Looking at the second question, so again, let's use the loops. So I have 3 by x squared, 3 by plus 2x, and 3 by plus 1. So let's write them out. 3 by x squared, plus 3 by 2x, plus 3 by 1. So 3 by x squared gives me 3x squared. 3 by 2x gives me 6x. And then 3 by 1 gives me plus 3. 